video you guys have all been waiting for and that I have asked you guys to earlier this weekend if you guys wanted to see me do this game right here man we have number three TCU who beat Michigan taking on number one Georgia now I'm not gonna sit here and act like I don't know how know who won but we're gonna go ahead and react to this game bro because you guys wanted me to react to this game so, so bad. You was asking me, what was this game, man? How come you didn't react to it? Why are you so salty that TCU beat Michigan? This, that, blah, 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 da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead and react to this game. Now, for my reasoning, why I didn't react to this game right away, because I didn't want to take a chance on my channel getting a copyright strike. All right. Michigan lost fair and square, bro. We beat ourselves. There was a pass interference that should have been called versus TCU, but they did not call it in also, I want to let you guys know, too, there is not going to be no more J.J. McCarthy or McCaffrey, whatever his fucking name is, bro, the quarterback for Michigan. He is still going to be there on Michigan, but I think he's going to be a second-string quarterback. We got a new quarterback coming in to play. He is a five-star recruit. I don't, I forgot his name, but it's not going to be J.J. no more. So, fuck J.J. Um, Blake Corm, he was hurt. That was our star running back. You know, Michigan is known as a run team. They could be a pass team, but they're not a pass team because J.J. don't know how to throw the fucking ball, bro, at all. He does not know how to throw the fucking ball. But it's all good, though. You know what I'm saying? We got a five-star recruit coming to Michigan, so I can't wait. I'm excited. But... This is TCU in Georgia, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're new. It helps out the channel tremendously. And most importantly, if you'd like to be notified after every single video, all you guys have to do is hit that post notification bell. So without further ado, let's do what you're doing. Get right into the motherfucking video. Let's get it. Let's go. TCU in Georgia, man. A lot of you guys been waiting for this reaction, man. We're here with it now. We are here with it. Did not catch it. We all know that Georgia's defense is A1. Stephen Bennett. I think that's his name. It's been a minute. I'm a little rusty, all right? This man is like 25 or 26 years old, I believe. He's an old-ass senior, bro. That Steven dude, I forgot how old he is. I think he's 25 or something. And that's what he does. He can definitely scramble, bro. You got to watch out for him. Them boys score just like that. That's one thing with Georgia you can't do. You can't play with these boys, bro. Michigan had to learn that shit the hard way when we lost to him last year, bro. But it's just still crazy to me, and I'm still starstruck, man, that this could have been Michigan taking on Georgia, bro, if we would have took care of business. That's one thing I can't say about Georgia. They take care of business, bro. They're back-to-back -back champions for a reason. I already know they won this game, but we're going to go ahead and react to this game anyway because you guys been bugging the hell out of me to react to this. You know what I'm saying? That's why I had made that poll asking you guys if you guys want to react to this game or not. But it's 10-0 right now, man. TCU has not found an answer for this Georgia defense yet. I still, don't, I still can't believe we got beat by TCU, bro. I still can't believe that shit. Wow. That's their best play yet. That is their best play yet against Georgia. And the crazy thing is, Ohio State could have beat Georgia, bro, but they missed the field goal. And as soon as they missed that field goal, too, that was on New Year's, bro. 12 o'clock hit immediately. What a script for college football, man. What a fucking script. Ohio State misses the game-winning field goal to go into the national championship to take on TCU right at 12 o'clock on New Year's Day. Going into the new year. What a fucking script. But it's 10 to 7 right now, a three point game. Bennett looking for one of his receivers. He does. It's close to that first down marker, man. I just still can't believe we didn't take care of business and beat TCU. Like, we literally beat ourselves, bro. Wide open. That's a dot. Wide the fuck open. Tell you, bro. Georgia is going to be a problem. I put this on everything, bro. There is no way that they are going back to back to back, bro. There ain't no way, bro. Especially with Michigan getting their quarterback, bro. And especially with Blake, bro. He's going to be back into the lineup. Like, you got to think, too, bro. We, we was an injured Michigan team, bro. We was an injured Michigan team. But I ain't going to lie to you. I mean, I never heard of TCU. I never heard of TCU a day in my life, bro. And we got beat by him. 
There is no excuse why we couldn't take care of business and beat TCU. But like I said again, there was a pass interference that they should have called, but they never called, though. But it's all good, though. I ain't tripping on it. 17-7 right now. 10-point game. Georgia, man, he is just giving it to TCU right now, bro. TCU defense is looking real shitty out here, bro. Absolutely shitty. Absolutely shitty. Run game is nice for Georgia. They pass game is nice. That's all Michigan needed, bro. If we had a, a fucking pass, a, pa a quarterback that could actually throw the fucking ball that has one job, bro, is to throw the fucking ball to his receivers and make plays, we would have been straight. But, oh, no. JJ talking about, oh, I'm going to be back next season. I'm going to make sure, you know, I'm going to be back better than ever, and I'm going to work on my passing this off season. What the fuck were you doing prior before this season even started, bro? Like, why was you working on your passing game beforehand? Like, why do you want to work on that shit afterwards, bro? You knew you had to work on that shit, bro, and you never worked on that shit, bro. Never did. Like, we did good in the season, bro, but came playoffs, bro. One game to get to the national championship. We couldn't do it. We this close every single year. We always get eliminated, bro, and come fourth place. In the tournament every single fucking year, bro, in college football, and it's crazy. 24 to 7, though. McIntosh. He's a problem, bro. I don't know what year he is, though. I think he's going to be returning back to Georgia next year. But I ain't going to lie, bro. Georgia is starting to be on the map, bro. These high school recruits and stuff, these high star, you know, high school recruits for college football, they're going to start going to Georgia, bro. Georgia is about to turn into one of those schools. Like, you know how Alabama was on the map and everybody was committing to Alabama? Everybody's about to start committing to Georgia, too, bro. Georgia's making noise, bro. I feel like the top schools to recruit to is, is Alabama, Georgia, and then Michigan, and then so forth, bro. A lot of people like committing to uh, Florida, too. Can't do that with Georgia, bro. And like I said, I've just been kind of ignoring these highlights, bro. I've just been... Telling you guys how I feel, you know, as far as the Michigan and TCU situation, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good, though. It's all good. 31 to 7. Absolute ass whooping, bro. I can't even say Michigan would have put a better fight against Georgia because we got beat by TCU, bro. I'll be the. It's going to be hard for me to tell y'all this, man. A lot of you guys are looking at me right now with a big ass smile on y'all face. One thing that I can say, bro. If Michigan would have went against Georgia, bro, we would have absolutely probably got obliterated. I ain't even going to sit here and lie to you. First hand, we probably would have got obliterated. But I know for damn sure we would have put a way better of a fight than TCU did against Georgia, bro. Because I won't even sit here and lie to y'all, bro. TCU got they ass whooped against Georgia, man. That's one thing I can say. Michigan would have put up a better fight than TCU. For sure, for sure. But I can't really talk too much because, like I said, TCU, they beat us by a couple of points, bro. In a must-win game. In a must-win game. 38-7. Hey, everyone. Wheels here. I want to thank you and enjoy it. Dogs with two men with their hands on the turf. Everybody else upright. They throw and broken up at the 21. Fucking sick, bro. I'm sick of this fucking Georgia team, bro. Fucking sick of it, bro. Like, Michigan, bro. We need a national championship under our fucking name, bro. We need a national championship, bro. This shit's not going down next year, bro. I refuse to believe that this team is going to go back to back to back, bro. I refuse, bro. I absolutely refuse that they're going to go back to back next year. Back to back to back. Hell no. They're not fucking three-peating, bro. Especially with us getting a new quarterback, bro. They're not fucking three-peating. Bro, we would have put one hell of a fight against Georgia, bro. But we couldn't beat TCU. I still, I still believe, bro, that we could have beat Georgia, bro. Fuck all that ass whooping shit, bro. I, I still believe we could have beat Georgia, bro. But we couldn't get past TCU. And that's the real reason, bro. I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all. I've been away from YouTube for a while. I had to let this shit sink in, bro. 
I literally had to let this shit sink in that Georgia fucking went back to back, bro. And I was really still trying to get over that TCU beat Michigan, bro. I just knew it was going to be some funny business, bro. I knew it was going to pro- bro. I knew there was going to be one team that was going to be upset, it, but I didn't think it was going to be Michigan. For sure, I thought it was going to be Georgia getting upset by Ohio State. But I didn't want Ohio State to beat Georgia. I wanted Georgia to beat Ohio State so that we could see them in the national championship game. Because I was just 100% sure that we was going to take care of business at TCU. Because who the fuck is TCU? But we got beat by a whole bunch of Christian boys, man. You know? So, we got beat by a team called the Horn Frogs, bro. What is a Wolver- What is a Horn Frog, bro, to a Wolverine? You feel me? Like, what is a Horn Frog, bro? A frog with a fucking horn, bro? Like, what What the fuck is a horn frog, for real, bro? To a Wolverine, bro. Think of X-Men. Wolverine got the claws, bro. Like, what the fuck is a toad to a fucking Wolverine? And we got beat by him. We got beat. Four for Georgia. What a game Brock Bowers is having. We had that bunch formation and got him. Zone run play. Play fake Duggan now being chased. Runs away from two Georgia defenders. Going to angle out of bounds. Time with a linebacker, Shambliss, on the left side. Play fake Duggan. Throws hard. A dart to the turf. Falling down with the catch. Ooh. Snap it back. Duggan, quarterback draw. Pays the price. He stumbled and Bear eats him alive. Bear Alexander with the tackle. Dogs from the 16 out of the pistol. Run it with Dejon Edwards. Breaks the tackle at the 19 near sideline across the 20 overload the right side. 45 to 7 is crazy, bro. This is the most boring game ever, bro. This is one of the worst games of all time in college football history, bro, for a championship game, bro. This is just like a normal season game for fucking, uh, Georgia, bro. A normal ass season game, bro. Way too fucking easy, bro. Georgia makes this shit look so easy, bro. But Georgia has everything, though. They don't have no cracks, bro. This team has no cracks, bro. And what I mean by that, bro, like their defense is good. Offense is good. Their special teams is good. Everything is good about this scene, bro. Like, they already giving them a standing ovation because they know this game is over with. They got their second string quarterback in, bro. They got all their second string players in. They got all their bench players in right now. Everybody getting their playing time, bro, in their championship game, bro. Second unit that scored against TCU. You might as well feed him again. Let him get his touchdown. That counted. I just... Michigan. 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 I am talking directly to my Michigan Wolverines. I promise you guys. You guys got one more year, bro. One more year, bro. One more fucking year, bro, to let me down. And you will see what's going to happen, bro. Kobe might have to just go to Michigan State, man. Green and white done right, man. Because it's blue and yellow shit, bro. I'm tired of it. No, I'm just fucking with y'all, though. But, um... <sighs> Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. I, <laughs> I can't talk shit no more. You know what I'm saying? I can't say that we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to win this. We're going to win that. All my shit talking is going to come one day. When Michigan makes it into the national championship game, you know what I'm saying? So, I won't be talking shit no more when it comes down to Michigan doing this, doing that, blah, blah, blah. I'm still going to root for y'all. But when it comes down to crunch time and y'all don't get the fucking job done and not make it to that national championship game, I'm not going to talk shit. That's the only way I'm going to talk shit. That's the only way you're going to unlock that trait from me is if y'all make it to the national championship. Then I'm going to talk big shit. But if we don't make it to the national championship, I won't talk big shit. We just going to go ahead and just root for y'all, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it cool, man, cuz this year, man, I was toxic as fuck, bro. I really thought it was a fluke that Georgia won that championship last year, bro. But then they fucked around and won this shit again back to back years, bro. Got beat by a team we had no business losing to. 
and you see my mouse. I know y'all see. I, I know y'all see my cursor, bro. I am circling TCU, bro. Thirteen and one. We was number two. This team was number three. We had no business losing to this team. But look at the score right now, y'all. Look at the score, bro. 59-7. Would you guys think... I want you guys to comment down below right now, bro. If Michigan and Georgia was in a national championship game, if Georgia... I mean, if Michigan would have beat TCU and it would have been Georgia versus Michigan, bro, what would the score have been? Leave that down below in the comments, bro. What would the score have been, bro, if it was Michigan versus Georgia, bro? What was the score? What was the score going to be? I might actually make a poll on that, bro. If Michigan went against Georgia, bro, in the national championship game, what the score would have been, bro? What was going to be the scoreboard? I'm probably, yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to make a poll on that, bro. But 59-7, bro, we had no business losing to a team that's getting blew the fuck out by Georgia, bro. But that just got me wondering, bro, what the fuck would have Michigan done any better, bro, than TCU against this Georgia team, bro? Because they're complete. A complete fucking unit, bro. Damn, bro. Scored again, bro. This shit makes me sick, bro, watching Georgia do this shit, bro. This makes me fucking sick that we got beat by TCU. This makes me fucking sick that they going back to back, bro. And it would even make me even more sick. I'd probably be in the hospital, bro. If they go back to back to back. Two natties under they built in the last two years, bro. It's fucking crazy, bro. But it's all good. Michigan will be back better than ever, bro. We will not let... Bro. I'm really hoping they don't let me down, bro. I am really hope you guys don't let me down, bro. Do not let down the state of Michigan, Michigan. Do not let us down, bro. Please do not let us down, bro. Get... get take care of fucking business tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow, bro. Take care of business next season, bro. And when it comes down to postseason, bro, let's get past the first playoff game, bro, and make it to the second playoff game because that's the most important one. I know we're going to be in the Final Four again. I already know that. But we're going to have to fucking win this time so we can be in a fucking natty, a national championship game so we can win a fucking natty, bro. Because watching Georgia, bro, go back to back, bro, that's something we need to accomplish now. We just got to get one fucking natty under our belt, bro. Please, 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 please. But with all that being said, y'all, this was TCU and Georgia. I know you guys have been waiting for this game. And like I said, again, I apologize for not dropping this game right away. I just wanted to make sure that I was not going to get a copyright strike because this is a huge, huge, huge ass event. It's kind of like the Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying? So when I react to stuff like this, sometimes it'll give me a copyright strike. And, you know, it only takes three strikes until my channel is terminated. And so with me having ads, with me having ads on my, um, you know videos now and me mo being monetized and stuff like that i don't want to mess any of that stuff up but with all that being said y'all hope you guys enjoyed the game man and with all that being said man it's your boy kobe and i'm gonna see y'all boys and i'll see y'all boys peace Sheesh.